Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I figured I would share a weekend vlog with you guys because we just arrived here at our lake house. It's Saturday morning, it's just about a quarter to 12. This morning we dropped the dogs off at the groomers, which was nerve wracking because I have not yet really come in contact with anyone at all, but they were super safe about it. We actually had masks on and gloves and they came outside of the door. I had to have a six foot leash and they just literally took the leash and brought them in. So there was no contact at all. But today I have to go to the grocery store for the first time ever on my own. And I'm really nervous about that. Um, but it's something that has to be done. I'm just here with Madison and She's Emily. So nervous. I'm She's so, so nervous. nervous. I'm very, Ooh. I've been complaining about this all morning. So anyway, I'm going to do that later, but right now we're going to have a picnic at the dock because it's really nice out. I'll show you what I put together and we're going to go sit outside and have a little picnic. And then I have to head to the grocery store. So this is the food we're bringing down to the dock to sit outside. So we got some gourmet strawberries. Some gourmet strawberries. I have some cheese, two corn dogs from Addison, and me and Emily are having cucumber and cream cheese sandwiches, which is something I haven't had in a really long time. And it sounds pretty good. So we're gonna head outside and have some lunch. Do you want a seltzer? Getting ready to head out and this just happened. <laughs> So now I have to do the face mask repair before I go out into the wild. Okay, look at me being such a trendsetter. <laughs> I had to use my pearl earrings to reinforce the strap. One is broken and one was coming loose, so I don't know. I might be starting a new trend here. I feel like I can't breathe. I'm going to hyperventilate. <laughs> Wish me luck. First, I'm headed to the post office and then I'm headed to the grocery store. It's now two o'clock. I just got back from grocery shopping. I already put everything away. I was going to do a haul, but it's just so <laughs> stressful right now. Just wiping everything down with Clorox wipes and getting everything put away. I just, I couldn't do a haul. And also people can be very opinionated <laughs> about food. And usually when I'm at the lake house, I don't buy the healthiest of food. We're only here for a couple of days and usually I have things like taquitos and pizza rolls and Taylor ham and just not the healthiest stuff. So, you know, I don't know. And somebody called me a stupid millennial <laughs> the last time I did a grocery haul. And I was like, yes, thank you. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to go sit outside with a drink and a snack and a book. I put on a sweatshirt because it is a little bit chillier than I thought it was going to be today, but it's really beautiful out. The sun is shining and I just want to get outside for a little bit and relax now that we have food in the house and all of the luggage, which is basically my overnight bag, is in and put away. So I am going to just take some time to relax and enjoy being here. And today is National Harry Potter Day. So I'm going to start reading the Harry Potter books. I read up to book three and now I'm going to reread three and then do four, five, six, and seven. I just talked about this on the video that I posted today, um, my TBR for May. So I'm hoping between May 2nd, which is Harry Potter Day, and July 31st, which is Harry Potter's birthday, I can finish all of the Harry Potter books. That's my goal. Isn't this a cute bookmark? I think I might have purchased this at Universal. I'm not sure. It's really cute though. I like it. Okay, so I am going to read for a little while and just relax. One of the things that I've been missing most, believe it or not, is ramen. And we haven't been able to find the chicken flavor anywhere for over a month now. So there were 10 packets left and I bought all 10 of them. So I'm going to have that right now for a snack to hold me over until dinner time because it's not even three o'clock yet and I am getting pretty hungry. It's just about 5.30 and we just got back from a walk. Now we're gonna take out the paddle boat because it is really arf. nice out. What are, you doing? what are you doing? It says say our Say arf. To, to the French way. Arf. Say we. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Not arf. <laughs> Arf is what a dog says. Arf. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just ordered takeout, so we're waiting for that to come, and we're gonna go take out the paddle boat while it's still nice out. Paddle and that's what we're doing. I basically just read Harry Potter all day, so it wasn't a very eventful day, but it was 
really exactly what I wanted to do. All right, see you guys later. All right, we just got our takeout. Emily, I think, got the best looking meal. She has like a shrimp and chicken penne. And then we have boneless wings. Madison, of course, got butter noodles. And the kids meal came with a soda. And I also got a kids meal. I just got cheese quesadillas and a Coke. So that is tonight's spectacular dinner. Not spectacular. And it's, it's still cold. It's still cold, <laughs> so we're warming it up. Unfortunately, that meal was incredibly disappointing. And the only reason we even ordered from this place was because we love their raspberry cheesecake. And when the guy dropped off the food, he called me to let me know that they didn't have any more left. So it was overpriced and not very good. We pretty much threw out most of what we got because a lot of it wasn't even edible. So that was really disappointing. And now there's a local ice cream shop that is open and I'm trying to call them to see if they're doing curbside pickup because I try to avoid contact with people as much as possible, but they're not answering their phone. So we kind of really want a dessert and we're disappointed about the cheesecake. So hopefully I can get through to them and at least we can get some homemade ice cream tonight, but I'm kind of aggravated because we spent a lot of money for a nice dinner and it wasn't very nice. The ice cream shop is not answering their phone, which makes me think that they're probably not doing curbside pickup. So I just would prefer not to. I have come in contact with enough people today <laughs> with growing, going to the grocery store that was trustful enough for me. So I am just gonna make some brownies and um, we have some vanilla ice cream. So while the brownies are warm, we're gonna have some ice cream on top of that, which I think sounds pretty amazing. And then we're going to watch some show that Madison and Emily want to watch. I think it's called The Influencer. It's a YouTube thing. So yeah, that's what we're up to. Okay, the brownies are in the oven and I just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys to those of you who sent me letters. I'm sorry that it has taken me so long to check my PO box. I haven't really checked it since the holidays and with everything going on, I was kind of nervous to go into the post office, but I just wanted to let you know, you are welcome to send me anything, any letters that you would like to my PO box now, because I am going to be checking it regularly and I just ordered stationery. So I'm excited that I will have some stationery and be able to write back to you guys because I am just excited about writing letters to people, like actually sitting down at my desk and hand writing back. I just think it's one of those things that has been lost. We're so used to corresponding through emails and text messages and things like that. And I always and still do love getting actual physical mail. There's just something about that. So I will be writing back to you guys, those of you who have written to me and I'm going to be actively <laughs> checking my P.O. box. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. We are going to go watch a show while the brownies are cooking and I am really excited for warm brownies and ice cream right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that the cheesecake was a flop because I am really looking forward to this. So we just finished watching, tell me what it's called. Instant Influencer. Instant Influencers with James Charles. It was really good. Like, I'm actually a little emotional yeah. about it. I'll explain the show. So okay. it's basically, he posts it every Friday on YouTube. And it's basically like if you've watched Chopped before, it's basically like that, but with makeup. And if you haven't, it's basically like there are a few contestants that are picked and each episode, they, there is a category that they have to do their makeup to, and there's one person that wins, and one person that has to go home. Yeah, it was really good. I think I'm gonna be watching it every Friday with Madison and Emily. <laughs> All right, let's eat the brownies. That looks really good. <laughs> How is it, Em? It's good. It's good, yeah. Yum. So I'm gonna tell you guys. <laughs> how weird I am. So lately when I'm reading books, I need to listen to background noise because I just have this thing where I always have like roaring noises in my ears. It's just been an ongoing problem with me. So it's hard for me to settle down and relax without any kind of like background music. So I'm reading Harry Potter tonight and there's this whole playlist of like Harry Potter background sounds. So I'm going to do Tonight I'm gonna to do Hogwarts Library and just, just look at how cool this is. <laughs> it 
Did you see the book Flying Off the Shelf? And you just listen to rain and the crackling of the fire and there's just like all of this magical stuff going on. I just think it's so cool. So yeah, that's what I do when I'm reading. I usually have something like this going on. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to get back to my <laughs> Harry Potter reading and I'm going to call it a night. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and I will see you again in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys. It's about 9.30 in the morning and it's already a beautiful day. It is just so nice out. It's a little cool right now but it's gonna warm up and I'm really excited for today. And it was so sweet last night when Madison was going to bed. The last thing she said to me was, mom I don't know why but I'm really excited for tomorrow. And it just, <laughs> it just made me so happy and I said to her, you know what? It's great when you can get excited about the little things in life. I just got back from my walk. The girls are still sleeping. It is a glorious day. It is so, so beautiful. Everybody's already out and about. <laughs> so I got to chat with some of the neighbors just from their front porches. And it's just so nice out. I just have been yearning for this weather <laughs> for such a long time. And I'm just gonna soak it in all day long. It's beautiful. So I am going to clean up this mess. You can see there's dishes and I just kind of left everything last night. And I'm going to start making brunch. Um, last night, really exciting for me. I have been thinking for weeks about joining some kind of like a subscription box. I haven't done anything since Mickey Monthly. And I felt like it started to just become too much clutter and as exciting as it was to receive it every month. I didn't know what to do with all of the stuff anymore. So... I decided to sign up with Book of the Month Club and I'm so excited about it. I'll leave a coupon below because I got a really good coupon for my first month and now I'm able to share it too. So if you guys are interested in that, but the concept is really good because you get to choose from five books every month and they're all already like bestsellers four or five star books from what I've seen anyway. So it's not hard to choose one of them. It's only $15 a month, which is so cheap compared to other subscription boxes. And it's actually even way less than that for your first month if you use the coupon. You can skip any month that you want, no big deal. And you can buy additional books for $10, like after you pay the $15 for the one book. So for 15 bucks a month and the ability to get beautiful hardcover books for $10 <laughs> was really great. And my first time, I actually didn't even have to pick from the five selected books. I was able to pick from like all of the books that they had. So I'm excited. I chose, I think it's called The Guest List, which is like a murder mystery that takes place at a wedding and I heard um, Miranda Mills talk about it. She's a YouTuber who I just found last week and I think I've watched 30 of her 35 videos that she has out right now. She also has a, a podcast called Tea Tattle, I believe, which I've also been listening to. So um, she purchased it and talked about it. So I was excited to give that one a try. And I don't know, it's just one of, just like I told Madison last night, it's a good thing when you can get excited about the little things. And I was so excited that I finally committed to that last night because literally for weeks I have been binge watching different book subscription boxes. And um, this is the one I decided to go with, so. Anyway, I am going to start cleaning up and start making brunch. It is 10.35 and I just finished cooking our brunch for today. I made croissants. We have some scrambled eggs. I also have some of this apple butter from the farm I thought would be nice with the croissants. And then I also made some cinnamon buns and I also made some chocolate milk here. <laughs> And um, while I was preparing everything I've been listening to, I just told you guys about Tea and Tattle um, with Miranda Mills. I'm listening to the Easter special and she does um, a lot of these podcasts with her mom. And if you just want to like listen to something very relaxing and enjoyable and just full of happiness and lightheartedness, listen to her podcast. It's just, it puts my mind in a really, really good um, place. And especially when she does the podcast with her mom, they're just so sweet. Okay, so 1035, 
I think I need to wake these girls up <laughs> so we can eat and maybe go on our run. We are getting ready to go either to the beach and or the dock to just lay out and get some sun. We actually just got back from our run, yay! We went twice around the lake and we ran like maybe a quarter of the time. Yes, Madison? There's one dog and we passed his owner's house. You guys know about this story. My dog Cooper, who always follows me on my walks. <laughs> so he started following us and then he went ahead of us he knew where our house was, so then he went on our porch and just hung out for a little bit. He tried to come in with us, and I put water out for him, and he wasn't interested. He just wanted to come in the house, and I didn't let him because he was soaking wet from swimming in the lake. All right, so here's everything that I have at the lake. I should have packed a proper beach bag when I came, but I didn't. But luckily, I have a towel. I have this lovely hat. <laughs> Never wore it before, but I might have to. That'll look great. Actually, it matches my bikini. Green. I have this tank top that I love. Say yes to adventure. So I'm going to wear that over it. And then I have a couple of these clippy things to hold my towel on my chair. These are the products that I just happen to have here. SPF 50. I don't think I'm ready to go for a 50. I want to actually get a little bit of color today, but I might use this on my nose because my nose tends to burn. It's just like one of those face sticks. And then I have, this is great. I don't know that I'll use it today, but I do use it when my hair gets wet from either the ocean or the lake. And it's this Hawaiian leave-in conditioning mist. And you guys know, especially if you swim in the ocean, how crusty your hair gets. So I spray this and then I brush it through. Here's my little bag. I'll show you my... <laughs> I have uh, this adorable wet brush that I use to brush it through. And then I have SPF 30, so I might use this one. A pair of flip-flops. And there are so many spiders. I have um, a couple of bug sprays. I don't know if that's going to help with spiders. Let me know if you guys know anything for try that. Both together. Well, we're going to try everything because they are big, creepy, crawly, scary looking they're like, ones. <laughs> they're like uh, blackish grayish and yeah. they have like stripes. Yeah. They're... And they look like they have like little like pointy. Yeah, they look like they're going to bite. Like they look like they have little like things like this that could yeah. clip you. They look poisonous. <laughs> and I have the biggest phobia of spiders. I yeah. would die if I see one. I know. So we're going to spray. We'll spray the dock. And if they're really bad, we'll head over to the beach. So let's get on our bathing suits and enjoy some sunshine today. Yay! Finally! Finally. Hooray! <laughs> I am ready for a day in the sun. <laughs> Luckily, Emily had a hat for me to borrow, so I don't have to look like I'm going hunting. And I always bring a 31 bag with me um, with food from our house that I bring here. So this works out perfect now for a beach bag since I forgot to bring my extra one. And this is what I'm gonna be reading. So, oh, I'm so looking forward to this day. Our two little ducks are back. Look at them go. I can't really see them because they keep going in the brush over there, but they're so cute. They, they keep going under to cool off. I named them Heckle and Jekyll. But Emily, Emily and Madison don't like my name. Let me know if any of you guys know what that reference is from. Look at, look at their butts up in the air. Oh my gosh, look. That's so funny. I could watch them all day. They're so cute. Look at, <laughs> look at him go under. <laughs> we are prepping for our barbecue. I'm going to make pina coladas. I'm going to make it first without the alcohol, and then I'm going to add the alcohol so that the kids could have it, um, obviously, without it. I have baked beans, green beans. I'm going to be making corn. I have burgers and hot dogs to go on the grill. And right now, Madison is chucking the corn. I'm just squirting myself with a few things of the corn. You did? Yes. So yeah, we're getting ready. I just have to figure out now how to work the grill. <laughs> As expected, I got way too much sun. That always happens my first time out in the sun after being just in the house all the time with the cold weather. So I got a little bit burnt. I don't think you can really see it on camera, but because I was sitting in my chair the whole time, like my shoulders are burnt and my forearms and my knees and like the top of my uh, legs. So 
I'm like all itchy and sore now. <laughs> and I didn't use sunscreen because the sunscreen that I had, I didn't realize expired and it was like all chunky and gross. So it wasn't the smartest thing, but it was really nice to have a few hours in the sun today. Doesn't that look pretty? So if you guys like pina coladas, the recipe on the back of this Coco Lopez is the best. It's the authentic pina colada and then they have, it's not focusing, sorry. Then they have the family recipe is basically just leaving out the rum, but it's so good. When you open it, let me just show you what it looks like on the inside when you open it because it's kind of gross and I thought that probably there was something wrong with it, <laughs> but that's the way it's supposed to look. This is quite a feast for three girls. <laughs> I hope everyone's hungry. It is still absolutely beautiful out. I clearly have some cleanup to do here, but I think once I'm done doing the dishes and cleaning up, I'm gonna take a walk because I always feel good taking a walk after having a heavy meal. What about you guys? It's just something that's, I don't know, I feel like it's a good thing to do. It's just about six o'clock at night now. I went for my walk and then I just sat outside on the deck for a while and read At Home in Mitford, which is really a great book. It's so charming. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's just been a great read today. I pretty much read Harry Potter all day yesterday and today I was reading At Home in Mitford. So I'm getting tired just being in the sun all day. I'm not used to it. It was such a great day. I have been really, really missing the sun and the warmth. Tomorrow, hi, hi. Tomorrow is not going to be so warm. <laughs> We're going to be back to, I think, a low of 30 something and a high of maybe 50. And yeah, so that's why I really like, even though I know I overdid it and I got way too much sun today. And uh, I think you did too, Madison. Your yeah. face looks a little bit red. My face is always yeah. red. Yeah, you don't think you got too much sun today? No. No? Did you enjoy spending the day on the lake? Yes. Was today as great as you thought it was going to be? Because you were looking forward to our brunch, barbecue, run, time outside. We went out on the paddle boat. We did a lot of fun stuff today. Are you? And we're going to do our s'mores dip in a little bit. Yeah, I feel like I could take a nap, but I got to hold out a few more hours. It's going to be bedtime before we know it. Okay, I think I'm going to, um, s'mores dip. I don't know. You want to do it in a little bit? Why don't you go see if Emily wants to do it? Okay. S'mores dip is next on the agenda. <laughs> we are making our s'mores dip, so we'll see how it turns out. But basically, you put a bunch of Hershey chocolate at the bottom of the pan. And then you layer it with marshmallows and put it in the oven for six, six minutes. Yeah, six minutes. <laughs> Me and Emily are in excruciating pain right now. We both got stupid sunburn. Like I am so disappointed in myself for not being more responsible. It's a lesson to be learned because the rest of the spring and summer, I am going to slather on, what's it called? <laughs> Why did I just forget what that was called? That's so I'm gonna why you got sunburn. Yeah, I'm gonna, the word is. <laughs> I'm gonna slather on a lot of sunscreen. I'm gonna invest in it as soon as we get home. Here's what they look like going in. Here's what it looks like coming out, nice and toasty. And then we just have some, oh, everybody's taking photographs. <laughs> and then we just have some graham crackers to dip it in. All right, let's try it out. Is it hot? Not really. I'm scared I'm gonna burn myself. Gotta get you the chocolate oh, at the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Ooh, looks yummy. It is hot. The pan's hot. Yeah. Well, oh, it's good. That was a good idea. Is it hot? A little bit, just be careful. Okay guys, so I am going to end the vlog here. I'm probably not gonna record tomorrow because I'm just gonna take a day off. I don't think, bless you, were you sneezing? No, oh. I'm <laughs> I don't think we're gonna do anything too exciting tomorrow. It's a school day for them. And I'm just gonna um, clean up the house because we're leaving Tuesday morning. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with us this weekend. We had such a beautiful weekend here at the lake. I really had so much fun. 
I'm glad that we went for our first run of the season today. I had more stamina than Madison and Emily, so. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. You were like five feet no, down. No, I us. ran further than you guys. You gave up and I kept going. That's because the dog, Cooper, mm -hmm. he was in front of us and we didn't want to run oh, over. He was, oh, okay. He slow. He, oh, you know what? Cooper, <laughs> Cooper's ball is in our yard still. He and left. he pooped in our yard. He did. He pooped in our yard. We are in the middle of the woods. <laughs> he goes in our yard. Oh boy. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us. We had a great weekend. I hope that your weekend was nice too. Hopefully you got to take advantage of some of this nice weather. I am looking so forward to the summer and the warmth and the sun. I just love it. I'm looking forward for quarantine to end. I know. We're all looking forward to that. But I don't even know when though. We don't know when, honey. But at least we have each other. <laughs> All right, and guys. you see why I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.